Hey everyone, Technomancer here with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use live translation for messages and other apps on your iPhone on iOS 26. This is a new feature. So if you haven't updated your phone, first thing is you need to update to iOS 26 by going into your settings, general, software update, and make sure you're up to date with iOS 26. Now, once you update it, the next thing you want to do is go into your setting and go Apple Intelligent and Siri. You need to ensure that Apple Intelligent is turned on. Now, this is a caveat to this, which means any device that does not have Apple Intelligent will not have this feature. And this is going to be your iPhone 15 Pro or newer devices that have this feature. So, live translation will work on iPhone 15 Pro or newer devices. Now, with those two things away, you can now go ahead into your messages. And then in order to turn on and use live translation for our text messages conversation, you click on a conversation with your contact, click on up top on their name, and then right here you'll see the option that says automatically translate. So we're going to turn that on. And then you're going to select the language you're going to translate from. So these are the options currently available. Uh, unfortunately, th this is the list. Apple might add, add new ones later on. But these are the languages that are available. So if you tap one, it's going to go ahead and download that language. So we're going to go ahead and download. And then you're going to select from what language to what language you want to translate from and to. So you can do that. And once you're done, we're going to go back here. And essentially, if someone texted you in that language, you'll be able to translate their language when this translation is complete. Here, it's still waiting to translate me uh, the messages here. Once you see that, you'll be able to translate here because it has to download that one. So here, for example, it's still waiting to translate for me because this is a new feature. So when you initially set it up, it takes a little bit of time. But once it's set up, you'll be able to go ahead and interact with someone. You can type in that language that you're familiar with, and then they will let them translate as well from the language that they're texting you in. So again, a cool way for translation. You'll see an icon right here to do it. Again, here for me, it's waiting right now, but you get the idea. And I hope this video was helpful. So please consider hitting a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks. We'll see you guys next time.